Hello, my name is Dr Simone Medal. I'm a reader and group leader at the Roslyn Institute at the University of Edinburgh and I'm here up in the Alaskan tundra. So why am I up here? Well, I actually study the birds that breed up here and my question is how do these birds breed in such unpredictable environments and how have they managed to migrate thousands of miles to do this? Well, one of the birds I study is the Lapland longspur and I've just got one here in my hand that I've just caught and this is a female Lapland longspur if I just show you her and um, she has just recently built a nest. There are three eggs in, in the nest already. But what's fascinating about the, these birds such as the Lapland longspur is that they're able to cope with the unpredictable weather of the Arctic. So today it's a beautiful day, the sky, sky is blue and the sun's shining. But yesterday if I was making this video you'd have found me standing in a blizzard. So unpredictable weather, obviously you need to adapt your physiology because you can't suddenly escape the storm and fly thousands of miles back to where you spent the winter. So what we've discovered is that these birds are able to adapt their stress response. We can measure the stress response in these small birds, songbirds, by taking blood samples and measuring um, stress hormones. And the stress hormone in a, in a bird is corticosterone. And what we've discovered is that they ha these birds have exceptionally low levels of corticosterone, lower than you would expect in a bird of this size. So these birds have adapted their physiology and we're beginning to understand much more about how they do this and why they breed up here in Alaska. Certainly there's lots of food available um, as I'll find out in a few more days when the mosquitoes come out. Thank you very much for your time.